Oh, don't mind us. We just getting ready for our first night out with all our kids. As the Meyer would say, thank you, Jesus. Right, so hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and hang with the Duma Chefs for the rest of this evening. As much as we would have loved to go out on a date, that's not possible because it is a school night. So we decided to put the kids to bed early so we can have some alone time. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the bathroom and refresh myself up just for a minute while Sierra goes in, get the food. I worry less and I, I pray hard. I'm pushing hope, I'm serving water. <laughs> Just be like into the dark situations. Your life is a camera. Rolling with the fog. Yes, there's more to them, there's more to the point in them. Focus putting on the vine. Just fill them with the the carousel. Life in the brush you give her. Crap. So after putting on my do-rag, covering up the waves, you know, I just couldn't help but notice how peaceful and quiet it was not having Sierra and the boys inside the bathroom with me. You know, having the boys running inside screaming, what's that? Tossing their toys in the tub, Sierra having the water on extra hot, boiling my back. I mean, I love my wife and family, but this is one of the most peaceful moments that a man gets to have when he's completely alone. While Dion showered, I return to the kitchen to start on our late night meal. On the menu tonight is a special pasta that I haven't chosen the name for yet, and some lobster. It's my first time cooking lobster, and OMG, those lobsters gave me a hard time, girl. No one told me that they had spikes underneath the lobster tails. And no one told me that those shells were that tough. But you know me, I got it together. Being that the lobster tails are already butterfly due to the way that I cut open the lobster tails, it was super easy to locate the veins on the sides of the lobster tails. So I was happy. First time cooking lobsters, whoop whoop. Now let me be honest here. I couldn't locate all of the veins or maybe they was too small or I don't know. But your girl was not about to let me and my boo eat some veins. Like, that is equivalent to going to the bathroom and not wiping yourself and pulling up your pants. Girl, look, I ain't got time for that. So I just started cutting off the sides. I don't care. They still look pretty, though. Mm -mm. The bathroom? The shrimp? Mm -mm. Bad analogy. <laughs> If you don't understand my last comment, I am simply saying that is the seafood's digestive tract. You have to get those veins out. Okay. That is their... <laughs> it makes sense. That is their liver, their pancreas, you know, all that nasty stuff. You don't want to eat that? Get that out, girl. That's nasty.
I'm from Louisiana. I, I don't do just the salt thing, okay? I had to add me some spices. I had to add me some herbs. Look, I made my little own little seasoning because I wasn't about to do just the salt thing. Mm-mm, not me. They looking nice. They looking good. I surely hope this come out right. This is my first time making it. And in the oven, they go. And to the shower, I go. Man, so if anyone truly knows Sierra, they know that she can tear down in the kitchen. And let me tell you guys, she have it smelling great right now. So while she's in the shower, we'll have to do something to get this table situated. Throw a couple chairs to the left, throw a couple chairs to the right, and check out what your boy had in mind. So after laying out the tablecloth, I went on ahead and set up the candle lights and threw some roses on the table just so we can set the mood for the rest of the night. Man, I really hope that you enjoy this, you guys. Oh my God. The aroma from the lobster tails filled my nostrils as soon as I stepped out of the shower. So I had to run and get them. I left them in the oven for about 13 minutes at 375 and I placed them on broil for about three minutes. They came out looking so delicious. I'm going to name this pasta my Boogie Woogie Shrimp Fettuccine. This pasta has tomatoes in it. I cooked it down when I was making the base of the sauce. So you don't see it, but it's there. And y'all, it added such a rich taste. It was so good. Now it's time to eat. But first, we must pray. But after burning my wrist over the fire a couple times, I had to figure this thing out. Okay, look, the London Bridge prayer is the best way that we should do this. The London Bridge prayer? Yes, we go to London Bridge because my wrist on fire. But you guys, listen, let me tell you, this food is so delicious. I mean, I was so hungry. What about you? Are you hungry? Y'all, uh, don't judge me. I was really, really hungry. I was starving. Okay, so it didn't take no more than 10 minutes for me to get all of that pasta and that lobster out. Actually, I only had a piece of my lobster because somebody was begging for another lobster. Let's not go there. I stuffed my face instantly. Sierra got to enjoy her lobster with the good spicy dip that she handmade herself from scratch and yes it was to the tea it was nice and balanced and everything about the whole meal was just delicious oh thanks babe
Thank you.